tones of, of chamber music for the string quo. Uh, this is uh, the first movement of Death and the Maiden by, so it's a very uplifting piece, by uh, <laughs> Franz Schubert. Franz Schubert was writing um, in the early 1800s. He died um, comparatively uh, young. He died at the age of 31. Um, so there was a lot left of Schubert um, when, when he passed. And the, what Schubert is known for generally is the, the genre of German Lieder, which is essentially songs for a uh, vocalist and generally a pianist. Um, but when Schubert was, um, in 1823, Schubert was diagnosed with uh, the tertiary stage of syphilis, and it started to really take its toll on him throughout that. He needed to be hospitalized for a good portion of, of 1823. And as he was grappling with um, his impending death, um, one of the things he turned to was the string quartet medium. His early quartets are very technical, very sort of, you know, theory composition assignments. He had the first violin gets everything, and then the, the other three voices really just play accompanying parts. But as he, as he turned to the string quartet in his later life in 1824, you start to hear a lot more independence in a lot of these parts. So each of the instruments begins to get its own voice. And he felt that um, one of the things that he couldn't express about himself was um, he was able to do so through the use of multiple voices in the string quartet medium. Uh, Death and the Maiden um, is not strictly what we would call program music, as in you can't hear the maiden running away from death and all of that kind of stuff. But um, he wrote a song earlier in his life. One of his leads was uh, based around um, the concept of Death and the Maiden, and it was a, a painting first and a verse before he took it and wrote a song. He used that tune in the second movement. Again, we're not playing the second movement today. But one of the things that um, he spoke of uh, to his friends beforehand was being, um, he wrote a lot about his lack of happiness and how he, would, he started to feel very lost as he was getting sick, um, and eventually as, as he passed. And one of the, the signatures of this piece is the opening. And you're going to hear several themes, and this piece is what we call um, a sonata form. So as you're listening to this, you're going to hear a couple of different themes as, um, as Schubert goes through this. There's the opening theme, and then there's a lighter theme in the middle. And in the middle, what he does is start to chop these themes up and rearrange them and put them on top of each other and string them together in different voices with different pairings. And then at the end, he'll come all the way back around to the beginning again. So you can listen for that sort of arcing structure as, as we go through this. But um, there's really not much more I can say about this. And the piece pretty much speaks for itself and, and for Schubert. So this is the first movement of Death and the Maiden by Franz Schubert. I can't want to sit right in the middle there. Sure. Right in the This is not part of the piece. <laughs>